Hello and welcome back to the workshop. Uh, this time it's about clamps. Um, uh, we all know that woodworkers have never got enough clamps. Um, but I've got an awful lot of squeeze clamps which are a nightmare to try finding a decent storage. I watched a video by Jonathan Katz Moses uh, where he used French cleats. Um, but he used F clamps and pipe clamps and bar clamps and all that sort of stuff which isn't really solving my problem so I had to think about it and this is sort of my take on adapting what he's done um, but I will also I'm going to take the camera off the, the stand in a minute and I will show you my uh, corner of shame let's call it so bear with me Hopefully that recorded, but maybe it didn't. But so there's my working space, and there's all the junk that was also in there. So I think I need to be a bit brutal and get some of this out of the way as well. But uh, right, let's see if we can make some uh, sawdust and uh, see what happens. For the battens, or for the crimp cleat, let's call it, uh, this is just um, right, 13 mil plywood by about 60 mil. Let's try that again, shall we? The wood for this is 13 mil thick and about 60 mil across. Um, there, they are actually reclaimed bed slabs. Um, they're just plywood as far as I can tell not the best plywood but you know All right, so the table saw is thrown over at 45 degrees and uh, we'll make a cut shall we So that is where I'm going to put the first French clean. Uh, only put three holes in. I think that should be enough. All we can do is try it and uh, see what happens. Right, so if I stack four of these on top of each other, I need about uh, 115 millimeters uh, sticking out. Bear with me on this; it, it's not very well explained. Uh, about four and a quarter inch long piece of wood. So we'll cut that next. Also decided that this is the uh, the other part to the uh, one that's fixed on the wall. That if I cut these at about uh, you know, say about 60 mil long, it just stops. I think it should stop them racking or turning. So we'll we'll do that at the same time.
Right, so the plan is that I'm going to right, fix that central on that width there so it should just fall over the top of it. Let me show you. So it should fall sort of like that. And this piece down here will stop because it's against this face, it should stop it falling out or tipping. Right, so this is what I've been trying to describe, probably not very well, and uh, apologies for that, but you can sort of, I think you can sort of see where I'm going with this. So, well, let me see if I can move you around. bit so the theory is that I can hopefully you can see that should and does ain't gonna go anywhere Hopefully you can see that. Come out of the way. Let's uh, go handheld. Hold tight. seems fairly, I mean there's no real weight on it, it's just fitting it. So I think what I'll do is I'll make another one off camera and uh, let's see what it looks like again and go from there. Now there's a second one up there, I can get a on that gap looking at that there, that gap between the two is to uh, put an F clamp or a parallel clamp or something like that up there. Um, I think I'm going to persevere with this, um, fix a few more French cleats up and uh, see what happens and I'll come back to you at the end of all of this. Right, so this is where I've got to so far. Um, the, the spacings are about four, well, 400 mil. Uh, I haven't got a clue whether that's going to be enough or whether that's too much. But I can always add extras in between. So um, I think we'll just have to see how this goes. Um, I'll bring you back in a bit more when I've got uh, the rest of the squeeze clamps up. And uh, hopefully even with the F clamps on. I ended up with a spacing of about 10 inches or 250 mil and the uh, the French cleat that went at the back uh, ended up being 4 inches or uh, 100 mil just to give it a little bit more stability but there's still a bit of rock there but um, I think we'll go with that to start with and see whether we can improve it at a later date. But Right now on to uh, some for the uh, F clamps and uh, such.
brilliant, but I think it all should should do the trick. That's <clears throat> those are the same height as that, so that when this locks in, that should just rest against the uh, wall. Right then, so we've got to the end of this. Um, give you a little tour. Um, in the little tiny squeeze clumps in there as well on smaller cleats <laughs> did find a few clumps that I just hadn't got space for so a screw but I don't use them very often so um, I'm not too worried about that and then down here we've got our uh, F clumps and parallel clumps and some more parallel clumps and again another block just screwed to the wall for the simple fact that they're not clamps I use very often or at all uh, as you can see from the amount of dust on them um, so yeah quite pleased this is only one there's only one that I didn't manage to find a home for let me just put prime profit up is this one which is the one I use on my bandsaw when I'm cutting logs um, but again that I'm just going to prop that up it's not something I use too often but uh, I'm just running out of space and I'm just thinking it can prop up for what it is so I'm quite pleased with it um, it's worked out it, it looks tidier whether it really is um, I don't know what I'm probably going to do is when I want some clamps I can reach up to whichever one I want where are we? let's just take that one and just lift it off so it's it's there and I can put the clamps back on and if I can show you where are we? I'm trying to do this all a bit one handed where are probably hasn't gone on very well yeah, sorry about that. It's a bit easy, not very easy one-handed, and especially left-handed as well. But um, I think it could well work. It might need tweaking. Um, if anybody's got any good ideas or suggestions to change it a little bit, then I'm always open to listening to those, and we can all learn again from this. So uh, hopefully you will have found this useful. Um, so I will see you on the next one. So take care all. Thanks very much. Jeff.